Methylfolate's important during pregnancy for you and your baby. Um, how come all the doctors don't seem to be on the same page about this yet? Uh, you might be surprised uh, to learn that folic acid is probably not very good for you in actuality. I've been studying methylfolate since 2011, uh, long before most people had ever even heard of it. I've been convinced by science and also by my personal journey with the nutrient um, in terms of its effectiveness. Many have sent testimonials telling us how powerful this specific form of folate has been for their mood levels and pregnancy needs. We have one particular customer uh, named Lisa. She had five miscarriages in a row uh, taking mega doses of folic acid, which is what she was told. Then after some research, she started taking one of our methylfolate supplements. It was able to bring a healthy baby girl into her family. Lisa believes the methylfolate changed her life. And I know the right kind of folate totally changed mine, which is why I'm working hard to make sure that the folate we provide in our products has the best chemistry and the quality on the planet. So methylfolate for pregnancy instead of folic acid? Uh, yeah. Mostly because more than half the population has MTHFR, which is a genetic condition that does not allow the body to properly convert folic acid into the type of folate the cells need to activate all those downstream reactions that are required to keep the body healthy. Folic acid needs four conversions within the body to take place before it can become the active form of folate that your body needs to function optimally, and that's methylfolate. How does this impact pregnancy? If the body isn't in a healthy place, able to make the right kind of healthy home for the baby, and giving all the nutrients, enzymes, conditions that it needs, the body will early abort the fetus, resulting in a miscarriage. And if over half the population can't make these conversions, uh, which are needed to provide the basic building block level of health, then it's something to be learned about, especially when we know that folate is so vital to the entire prenatal journey. We know that methylfolate protects against birth defects, so you're protecting yourself by establishing a solid, basic folate health foundation, and you're also protecting the baby along the way. Now, let's be real, is methylfolate the miracle uh, that will solve all pregnancy and prenatal related issues? Uh, no, of course not. Uh, but I would say that it's an important fundamental building block uh, that's at the basis of life. And we all need, uh, especially those of us who are working to bring new life into the planet. Why don't all the doctors know about methylfolate then? Well, I'd say a lot more know about it today than when we first started trying it. Uh, no one had heard of it yet back then. I would venture to say that if you're having a lot of trouble with fertility and have gone to see some specialists, uh, they might be more prone to understanding uh, its importance and how MTHFR, or this genetic variant, affects folate metabolism. Also, naturopaths who tend to focus more on natural solutions and root causes uh, would likely have more understanding around MTHFR. But a traditional Western medicine doctor that's older may not have this knowledge. Uh, don't waste your time uh, trying to educate a doctor who doesn't know about MTHFR or methylfolate. I have found doctors don't tend to like patients who think they know more than them. Just find another doctor who knows about it and work with them. How much methylfolate should I take during pregnancy? I'm supposed to take four milligrams of folic acid, right? This, this solid megadose. Uh, do I need the same amount of methylfolate? Uh, probably not, but possibly. Nevo DHA was the first prescription prenatal that was released. It has about one milligram of methylfolate in it. Uh, the question is, was that amount determined for all pregnant women, or was that amount determined for those who have MTHFR challenges? My general thought is that anywhere between one to three milligrams of methylfolate uh, daily is probably a good amount for a pregnant woman. Probably one milligram is enough if you're not dealing with a faulty folate metabolism gene. Maybe three milligrams is better if you are struggling with MTHFR or having difficulties keeping the baby. It's important to know whether or not you tolerate methylfolate well. So check out our side effects video to understand a bit more about them in case you're concerned about that. Most people tolerate methylfolate at those doses just fine. But as with all things, we're all individuals and we're all different and there will be some people who don't feel good taking that amount of methylfolate. So just pay attention to your body. A quick plug about our methylfolate, it is the most pure version on the planet, uh, tested by a former 35-year Merck chemist uh, who's in Switzerland now. 
but it is internationally patented and it is the most identical to today's pharmaceutical version, uh, which means it's built on a crystalline calcium salt molecule for maximum stability and therefore potency. We have only the active 6S isomer in our methylfolate, uh, so be careful not to get a racemic version of folate that's cheap because uh, there's plenty of them out there. Uh, however, they'll be tainted with half of the nutrient, including an inactive form, uh, which is the 6R isomer, and it won't be pure or high-grade quality, so be aware of that. The cheap methylfolates are often much less potent and effective. If you're going to go with a methylfolate, go with a company who's been living, breathing, and taking it personally themselves for the last nine years not just a company who's trying to make a quick buck by selling you um, what you think is a good deal on your cheap methylfolate. Don't risk quality when it comes to your health and what you put into your body. So if you liked our video, please give us a like, a subscribe, share it with a friend. Uh, the more you interact with us and engage with us, the more people can find us that come after you. So we want to get the information out. Thanks so much.